Hi everyone, this is Shalu Kumar again from OSCE Nurse Training in Cambridge. I'm an experienced OSCE Nurse Trainer for the NNC OSCE exam in UK and also the lead trainer for OSCE Nurse Training Cambridge. Uh, so I am back with another video for you for your adult NMC OSCE exam. So if you like my videos, please press the like button now and subscribe to my channel. So in today's video, we're going to look at another topic for evidence-based practice, okay? And you've been asking me to do this one, so I'm going to do this one today and the topic we're going to cover today is the smoking cessation so we're going to look at the smoking cessation and see uh, what method is best for uh, uh, for helping a person who wants to stop smoking okay so that's what we're going to look at so we will work through a scenario so we'll look at a scenario then we will look at a, um, a research study article and then we will write our answers together that's what we're going to do today so just as a refresher before we start the station evidence-based practice is a 10 minute station is a written station in your exam uh, you have different 15 topics uh, to prepare and you will be asked to answer one of those topics it will be one of the scenarios based on those topics okay uh, and then uh, you will be given a scenario in exam then you will be given a little uh, uh, study article to read and then you will be then asked to write your health education points or your, uh, your or your points as bullet points okay in your answers that's what you need to do all in 10 minutes okay so that's what it is how to prepare for it just make sure you have done a little bit of reading around the topics you know what is the current practice in those topics and also don't forget to look at the marking criteria set by the test center so that gives you good guidance how to answer your questions okay so let's look at this topic uh, first we're gonna look at the scenario first so we got a scenario here um, you have been working on a respiratory unit for the past six months significant number of uh, patients um, admitted to the ward are long-term um, smokers giving up up-to-date evidence-based health teaching to the patients is essential part of preventing lung disease as we all know uh, the patient you are looking after today uh, uh, Mr. Forrest is very keen to stop smoking and has been already given information regarding smoking replacement therapies okay uh, so he also uh, uh, he asked you whether using e-cigarettes is better option than nicotine replacement and why. So he obviously have some information already uh, that there are two different methods uh, to stop, uh, to help to stop smoking. One is a nicotine therapy and one is e-cigarette. So he's asking you in your opinion, which one is better and which is more successful so he can uh, stop smoking su successfully so that's what he's asking you so okay so next page is gonna show you uh, a little study uh, which obviously I found it as I done the research on it so I found this study so you can see it goes through quite a lot uh, and then if we look at, and then after that you will be given a blank screen to write your answers so we're going to go back to the slide where our study was and just going to look at what are the main points in the study okay because you may not take in all of the study because there's a lot of numbers and stats but what are what are the main things in the results so that's where we're gonna so i've highlighted the main points for you uh, so as you can see on your screen, uh, it goes through the method, it goes through what the study is all about. Then in the results, if you look carefully, it says the trial provides. So this was a trial they did uh, on these participants and then they some of them, they had nicotine replacement therapy and some of them had the e-cigarettes. So the trial provides some, so the results are the trial provides some indications of why e-cigarettes uh, had better result than nicotine replacement treatment so that suggests that e-cigarettes are better okay that's the first point second thing is e-cigarettes cause more throat or uh, or mouth irritation so that's the side effects of e-cigarettes and nicotine replacement causes more nausea okay so the side effects why that's the comparison um, 
but they were both mild side effects okay both e-cigarettes and nicotine replacement products were perceived to be less satisfying than cigarettes obviously it's not going to give the same satisfaction to your patient as cigarettes however e-cigarettes provided greater satisfaction and were related uh, were rated as more helpful to refrain from smoking than nicotine replacement products so if the person is getting more satisfaction they are more likely to use that method so e-cigarettes have a little bit more satisfaction wise for the person who wants to stop smoking next there is another highlighted point here um, in our trial refillable e-cigarettes had greater efficacy than nicotine replacement therapy even though nicotine replacement therapy was provided in combination and under expert guidance so it's still saying that the e-cigarettes are slightly better now another point is both therapies are less effective and have chances of being not successful without face-to-face -face support group participation so that means is your patients still need to attend a lot of group support session face-to-face -face sessions alongside whether they use nicotine therapy or whether they use e-cigarettes they are both not effective methods if your patient is not attending face-to-face -face session so it's important that they get face-to-face -face support alongside the methods okay so that, that's just the conclusion of the study so some of the points so now we're gonna go ahead and write these as bullet points okay so let's go to our next screen so we're going to write these as bullet points so let's see the first one so first we will say I have read the article summary I write my recommendation to Mr. Forrest uh, in bullet points below okay so that's how you're going to give your health education to Mr. Forrest so I will tell Mr. Forrest that any of the replacements uh, will not give him same uh, satisfaction as smoking but as per the research study e-cigarettes should give him better satisfaction than nicotine replacement so that's the first thing he needs to know second thing is i will tell mr forrest that as per the study he has better chance of success in stopping smoking if he using if he uses e-cigarettes rather than nicotine replacement okay because the study shows that e-cigarettes are slightly better success rate have better success rate so number three i will inform mr forrest that e-cigarettes uh, is the uh, e-cigarette is more likely to give him um, throat and mouth irritation uh, in comparison to nicotine replacement um, and then the next one is that's the side effects of uh, e-cigarettes e so next one is i will tell mr forrest that as per the research study uh, shows that nicotine replacement is more likely to cause nausea so that's the side effect of the uh, nicotine replacement therapy so number five i will inform mr forrest that he needs to use smoking cessation support service and attend face-to-face -face sessions as without this there is low chance of success to quit smoking with both treatments okay uh, i will give details of local smoking cessation services to mr forrest so the last one i will inform mr forrest that he has made a good decision in uh, in uh, decision to stop smoking and will offer him support and encouragement because there is always you got to give your patient encouragement that is a really positive decision to stop smoking and give them lots of support and encouragement so they can be successful okay so they that's how you write bullet point for this topic i hope you understand this topic a little bit better and the conclusion is yes e-cigarettes are better um, than nicotine replacement but at the end of the day it doesn't matter which method patient uses but if they don't attend face-to-face -face sessions there is a low success rate okay so you they need to get your encouragement support and the, attend the support groups as well so that's the basic idea of this topic so i hope you like this video so if you like it please press, uh, press the uh, like button now and subscribe to my channel you can also email us on oskinas training at outlook.com if you want to know a little bit more what uh, training options we have and then uh, you can also visit us on www.onoskinastraining.com and i will soon be back with another video for you so bye for now